exe hero challenge map with the uh, mushroom thingy on hold because we can't. How did that cow escape? He was just in the pen. How did he escape? Uh, anyway, with the mushroom thingy on hold because I can't figure out a way to craft the uh, crab mushrooms yet. I did find a way to expand our supply of soul sand without the use of a lot of uh, sand sifting to get the uh, ancient spores. Apparently, we can. Let's see. Grab this. Yes, grab this. We should be able to put a barrel on top of the mycelium and make witch water that way. So let's hope that works. Like so. Some more stuff away. Okay. That will do for now. Ugh, spider eye away. I'll get my spider eyes eventually. Anyway. Oh, the barrel. Spruce barrel. So let's hope the mycelium doesn't disappear. That's good. It didn't disappear. Now we'll go get our bucket, which is to not be a oh, the bucket's right. Bucket of water, and we should be able to do it like this. And that should very slowly turn into witch water. Make all kind of stuff happen. So let's have a look at our pulverizer. I'm gonna get some sand. I'm gonna sift this dust though. And the gravel can flow freely again. The pig cut out too! And now the cow's back in! Like, what the hell is happening here? Stay inside the border, and I'll be happy for a bit. Sand, and I'll put the dust here to sift. Just don't forget to pick the stuff up regularly. Okay, this has turned into witch water. Can I actually uh, make pools out of it? I don't know. Three. I don't think they will make it infinite source though. Because that would make it way too easy to make much water. Oh, look at that color. It's oh. It's not something I want to stand in. It gives me slowness, weakness. Weakness 3, Wither, and Blindness. If it gives me weakness, maybe I can pour that on a zombie villager and then use an apple on it. Because it gives me weakness as well. That would be a great solution. Not which water yet. That would actually be great solution. Almost there. Go pick up some stuff down here. From my amazing empty inventory. Ugh, too much stuff. Don't know what to do with all of it. Redstone, sugar in here. God, so many stuffs I want to keep. Rotten flesh, you are 
very good defense wall. And then some of you is going to get in these barrels. Up here I have some more rich water. So let's have a look at something that should not work. Yeah, it, as I thought it doesn't work. Can't click the middle one, doesn't make it into its source. Oh. Oops. Just to be sure that's this. Mm. Yep, does not make it into its source. But there are ways to make infinite witch water. And let's see. That in here. Sand. And we've got our soul sand. And because we can do it like that, that means we can also automate the making of soul sand. He's got to take money. Okay. And voila! That's for soul sand. Soul sand set up here. Next to another ward. Or we can sift it to get more nether quartz. All very nice. And I'm gonna keep a bucket of this witch water on me. Well, I think it's time to replace the uh, the water source spring we've got there in our, in our ender portal. Time to replace it with something. New and fancier and more machine like. There, here, and powder, cobblestone, then coal. I'm gonna stop doing that. So I can focus on other things. Otherwise I'll be doing this for the rest of the recording and that's not really what we want. What we want is to make let's see aqueous accumulator. Use tin, bit of iron, some redstone, some glass, machine frame. Five, two, still for the glass, redstone, some gold, okay, set tin, and a bucket, how convenient. So we make a machine frame, and then we make a servo. Already got the bucket, and now we've got our aqueous accumulator, which frankly works without using any power. So we will see. So I wanted to work with the uh, igneous extruder as well, so I think I'm gonna just put it on top of it. It'll make water all of its own. Maybe on top of it is not so perfect because it'll work faster if it has water sources next to it. So let's see. I don't really put water sources here and this is going way too slow. Let's see what we can do about that. Do we have a crescent hammer? Yes we do. We have a fluid duct. Probably want more fluid ducts. Lead and copper. Oops. Lead and copper. Which will make our fluid ducts. Oh. It's getting night as well, so I am going to get myself a bucket of rich water. Good. Break that again. Let's see. 
that's where the witch water will go into. And I want a water source, my aqueous accumulator, and another water source. So, this is going to start looking really, really weird. Who the hell puts this on their roof? Let me go get my second bucket. Uh, where, did I put it? where did I put it? Okay, second bucket, second bucket, second bucket. Bucket. Why can't I find it? Where the hell is it? I cannot find it for the life of me. I really thought I had two buckets. Okay, that, that doesn't matter. I am going to create another portable tank because I need them anyway for other stuffs. So let's see. I think that it's just surrounded by glass. Let's just put it here. Makes great windows. Let's get ourselves a water source. And go back on our completely normal house. They should be going faster already. I'm going to make it go in there. Extract mode. So water should be pouring in here. From here. It's not going fast yet. But adding this one should make it go a little faster. Go. Oh, see, it doesn't fill in here. It doesn't fill in here. This is completely filled. It should fill in there as well. No, oh, oh, don't fall down there. If you fall down there, you're gonna have a bad time. Sorry if you can hear the neighbor's dog barking. I can't really do anything about that. Doesn't this auto export? I thought it would. Doesn't seem to. Oh, doesn't need the export thingy. Okay, that, that works for me. So now we will be automatically making witch water whenever we empty this barrel. But now the question is, can we empty that barrel with these fluid types? Not that I would really want to, of course. I think I hear zombies, so I am going to check out if I find one of them bastards together with Apple and I think I want to go do this in bat mode though. That way I can fly above them. No zombies yet? I thought I heard some zombies. See a bunch of chickens. Zombies. Oh, they're starting to spawn, and I conveniently left this bridge for them. Is the power of my awesome new sword? Okay, I need a zombie villager, and there is a zombie villager right there. Okay. 
Hop into bat mode, hop into bat mode, come on, bat mode, bat mode, bat mode, bat mode, bat mode. Okay. Let's see what this does. And does that do anything? Ah uh, no, that doesn't work. That would have been too nice if that worked. But it doesn't. Uh, And now I'm stuck with all these bosses on my island. Okay, let's break these things. Anyway. Maybe I can keep the zombie villagers safe for later use. Dead zombie villager seems to be in the pen. Okay, let's leave him in the pen and go to bed real quick. That's a real shame that that doesn't work. Another way of doing it is trying to get a witch, but I haven't seen a witch on this map anywhere. Because I thought Minecraft 1.6.4 point was an update where they would spawn on the normal overworld, but I haven't seen any yet. And I'm on fire. And he's on fire. That's not good. Can this water put you out? Oop, I poured it on myself. He's dead. That kind of failed, and it seems like I duplicated my witch water, which is also not very good. How the hell did I manage that? Oh, it seems like I didn't duplicate it. Okay, that was kind of weird. Well, let's go on with the. Uh, Making our system for making soul sand. Jesus. So what we can do is put another autonomous activator over there. So let me uh, pass one up quickly. Right back. Okay, we've got our autonomous activator. Let's see if it works like I want it to work for a change. Put that here. Rotate. It so that face is facing this, and I will put the sand, and it'll right click the sand into the witch water, and then it turns the soul sand, and it'll right click the soul sand out of the barrel, refill the barrel of water, slowly turn it into witch water, and then put it out of the sand. The only thing we need to find, figure out now, is a way to catch the soul sand. So it doesn't disappear everywhere. And then maybe transport it to this one and have it automatically sifted. See what we get? Got some nether quads. Which can be used in this table to make your weapons stronger. See? Now that's four hearts of damage. There we go. Oh, made one already. And then when we hook up this autonomous activator to sand outlet right here, we can automatically make soul sand. But that is going to be for a future episode. Right now we've set up a system to make nether quartz and I'm pretty pleased with that for now.
too bad the witch water didn't work on the zombie villagers, but we'll figure out a way to get prime troops. Anyway, goodbye.
they're starting to spawn. And I conveniently left his bridge for them. Is the power of my awesome new sword? Okay, I need a zombie villager, and there is a zombie villager right there. Hop into bat mode, hop into bat mode, come on, bat mode, bat mode, bat mode, bat mode, bat mode. Okay. Let's see what this does. And does that do anything? Ah uh, no, that doesn't work. That would have been too nice if that worked. But it doesn't. Uh, And now I'm stuck with all these bosses on my island. Okay, let's break these things. Anyway. Maybe I can keep the zombie villagers safe for later use. Dead zombie villager seems to be in the pen. Okay, let's leave him in the pen and go to bed real quick. That's a real shame that that doesn't work. Another way of doing it is trying to get a witch, but I haven't seen a witch on this map anywhere. Because I thought Minecraft 1.6.4 point was an update where they would spawn on the normal overworld, but I haven't seen any yet. And I'm on fire. And he's on fire. That's not good. Can this water put you out? Oop, I poured it on myself. He's dead. That kind of failed, and it seems like I duplicated my witch water, which is also not very good. How the hell did I manage that? Oh, it seems like I didn't duplicate it. Okay, that was kind of weird. Well, let's go on with the. Uh, Making our system for making soul sand. Jesus. So what we can do is put another autonomous activator over there. So let me uh, cross one up quickly. Right back. Okay, we've got our autonomous activator. Let's see if it works like I want it to work for a change. Put that here. Rotate. It so that face is facing this, and I will put the sand, and it'll right click the sand into the witch water, and then it turns the soul sand, and it'll right click the soul sand out of the barrel, refill the barrel of water, slowly turn it into witch water, and then put it out of the sand. The only thing we need to find, figure out now, is a way to catch the soul sand. So it doesn't disappear everywhere. And then maybe transport it to this one and have it automatically sifted. See what we get? Got some nether quads. Which can be used in this table to make your weapons stronger. See? Now that's four hearts of damage. There we go. Oh, made one already. Now when 
we hook up this autonomous activator to sand outlet right here, we can automatically make soul sand. But that is going to be for a future episode. Right now we've set up a system to make nether quartz and I'm pretty pleased with that for now. Too bad the witch water didn't work on the zombie villagers, but we'll figure out a way to get brown mushrooms. Anyway, goodbye.